have a 2011 Fleetwood Southwind model number 32V and I'm assuming that's a 34 foot get a long view here. Is this a, just a massive storage area right here? Ah, propane. Okay. This is going to be a short floor plan, floor plan, so it's going to be missing some storage on the outside. Yeah. Okay, water filters. Here's some storage. A little bit of pass through. What you get for a get with a gasser? No, but that's all right. We've been wanting to look at a south wind anyway, so mm -hmm. that's interesting. Somebody's put a, a ledge. ledge or something so you can hang stuff off of. Some stuff behind it. Nice. It's got the dusters. Yeah, not the fold up, but the, oh yeah, that is a true fold up. Rear gas. $5,500. I wonder, I wonder, you know what, we've got enough room on each side of this, we could probably run the slides out. Wet bay. Nice. Excuse me. Yeah. Good question. Can we run the slides out on this? Uh, you should be a plug in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Looks like a double star. Yep, goes all the way through to this side. Nice. Wow, okay. Wow, they just made up for their storage. And you know what? There's a door. There's, a, there's an access door right there. Well, the wheel's right there. Maybe you can check the... Oh, it's an access door to the dually. To the, the back wheel, the inside wheel. Uh, yeah, come on. Got Michelin's. Michelin tires all the way around. A nice 22 and a half inch. All right, we got the chromed out mirrors with the side view cameras. Well, it's really hard to shoot out here in this light. I know. Florida. Yep. Welcome to Florida. All right. Open up the door for my sweetheart. It's on the V10 Triton. We'll show it with the slides closed first. Ford V10. Isn't that what I said? No. Okay. Ford V10. Isn't that what I said? Should be 10 Triton. I just said Ford. Ford V10 Triton, yeah. Okay. It's got the Magnum inverter, baby. At least the control system right here. Oh. What year did I say this was? 2011. Somebody up. I think somebody updated the TV. Uh, so you can see it. Sony flat screen. 
I don't know, we had a flat screen in 2011 too, so I don't think it was that thin though. Alright, not bad. It's de yeah, I mean, you can do it, you can access everything with the slides in. Bathroom. Get back here. Boy, that's a. We've been seeing the kings in some of these. It makes that queen look tiny, even though that's what we've got in our own rig. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> All right. Let's find the slide controls. Up. Up where? Up. Oh, up there. All right. We will do the driver's side first. Ready? Yeah. That's going to be the bedroom. Is it going out? Oh, here. Shouldn't. We're on shore power. Oh, you know what? They might be locked out. Wait a minute. Ah! Okay. So, you can tell we're used to travel trailers because I'm not sure... Turn the ignition back off. <clears throat> and. Huh? What? So that's a little different right there. No. Nothing wrong with it. Just the difference between a 2011 and a 2016 or 2018, which is what we've been looking at. Got the auto leveling system right there, which I think is the logical place to put it. Uh, it's electronic, yeah. It's kind yeah. Of I like the dash layout. Yep. It's very simple. Yep. Okay, there's your backup camera and side camera screen. There's your entertainment system, such as it is. I mean, for 2011, this is a seems like a clean rig. <clears throat> so, yep, got the computer. And see if it's got the hidden. Yeah, that's that's nice. I like that. start popping up some popping open some storage here so oh another th does it have the automatic lines it doesn't does it no oh, it's wow. got the wraparound curtains yeah. okay it's got blinds. does it no it doesn't Yep, right there, visor. Right there. Uh -huh. So, got 
the auto blind on the front. Yeah, and then the curtains for the sides. Okay. All right. Nice. Is that a covey up, up above that? Is that an open storage above that? Oh, it's just a. Okay. All right. Sorry for the lighting, folks. All right, nice. Love the woodwork in here. That is really pretty. Yeah, it is. I like the placement of that light. All the original manuals. Wow. All right. Come on, dear. Can't make these videos too long. All right. Oh, this is sold. <laughs> yep. Does it say how much they bought it for? Probably not. All right, got storage under the benches. Pull it all the way out. It looks like uh, looks like it's got recliners. Yep. All right. Wow. Nice yeah, that took me by surprise. <laughs> oh wait a minute! For some reason, I can open oh, pop all those open again. Okay. Camera was acting weird. Oh, weird. Nice. Double sink. Yep, stainless steel. Yeah. Counter extension right here. Nice. I, that was probably added by somebody, I'm thinking. Yeah. Big storage. In the yeah, I mean the fish is coming loose, but you know, yeah. nothing, nothing major. Reaper cooktop. Yep, it's got the nice grate on it. Mm -hmm. Not the heavy duty that you see now in the days. In some of them, yeah. probably a twelve cubic foot four door gas electric. Nor cold. Remember, you gotta close this one first. Mm-hmm. Ice maker. And it's got the day-night shades. The MCDs. I think those are MCD. The real MCD. Okay. Mm. And a Fleetwood? I doubt it. Yep. Porcelain. So, I mean, the shower could be bigger. But we're talking a smaller unit. Yep. Smaller desk. Yep. It's nice. It's nice, yeah. Right. Wow. Decent storage underneath the side, the end tables. Mm 
Nice storage above. Mm -hmm. Is there storage on that side? Is there storage on that side? No, there isn't. What? No, there is not. Speak up. No. We cannot hear you. Big wardrobe. Okay. Nice. Drawers all across. TV right there. Storage. Uh, control panel right there. Or fuses. Um, no pocket door. Yep. Oh, it had, it, a it had, door. no, there was no pocket door here. Well. Because it's on the bed. Oh. Pocket door's on the bed. Okay. Not pocket door, but they're the, Slide. the, yeah. Come on, camera. Slide door. There we go. Slide door's on the bed. So, for a shorter unit, this is not bad. Nice little Euro rocker right there. Oh, hey. Hello. Bye-bye. Which one was... Oh, the Winnebago Adventurer. Bye-bye. A lot of these in this row have been sold. I'll tell you what. The RVs have been flying off the lots. I mean, you see how many empty spaces are here? Usually, when we used to come here, every single spot was full. And not anymore. It's like this all through the park, all through the, the uh, facility. All right, so this is not a bad unit. We will try to find the prices, like I said, and put the prices, the asking prices, down in the video description. We may not always be successful, especially since some of the ones we're looking at are sold. All right, on to the next.